Hello everyone, my name is Orlando Asan. Today we're going to be reviewing Dehancer's plugin. You can hook to your Lightroom and it's going to give your digital photos that film look. So let's just jump right in. In a most recent production out in San Diego, I had the opportunity to visit Torrey Pines after the shoot. I shot this with my Fuji Film 50R and a Minicon 65mm. As I'm in uh, Lightroom, I just want to reset and show you the raw settings. What I'm going to do now is just walk you through the process of preparing this raw file so you can get the very best out of the answer. You want to make sure your profile is at Adobe Standard and your exposure is at negative one. Your contrast is going to be set to negative 40 and your blacks are going to be set to, to 60. Your curves are going to be set to linear. You're going to take all the sharpening away from it and the noise reduction. That's going to go to zero and your color space is gonna be sRGB and your bit depth is gonna be based at 16 bit. Now originally when setting up this program, you already set your color space and your bit depth to be exact to these specifications. So it's nothing to worry about if you got it installed properly already. So with all that set up, let's take this over to Dehancer. You just wanna right click on your photo and you wanna bring it over to Dehancer Lightroom Plugins app. This dialog box is gonna pop open and again, this is where your color space is gonna be sRGB and your bit depth is gonna be at 16 bit. So we're all good here. So let's take this to edit. From here, you can quickly see that you can jump around and go to these various presets. This is pretty much just like Dehancer's film emulation. Once you find a preset that you like, you can actually start tweaking. So let's just use this as a base right here. Exposure compensation is pretty straightforward. It's gonna adjust your exposure. If you wanna do your temperature, you can, your tent, your defringe, radius and all. And this is the film developer. We're just gonna add a little bit of contrast boost. And this is one of my favorites right here is the color boost in this section. It really uh, brings out the vibrant colors. From here, we're gonna go on to the film compression. And just like Dehancer, if you're familiar with it, you can change the tonal range and the color density. I'm just gonna tweak multiple different things and see what I like. The expand, you can expand your black point from here or lower it and flatten it out. I think I like things here. So my favorite is the Kodak. 2383 print film and it just leans more towards the greens and that's that's what I feel a lot more for this photo. The film grain is very very special and this is the creme de la creme and this is why you're here is because you want your photos to look like film and they have all these different ways that you can make your photos look like film whether that's through 8 millimeter or 35 millimeter. These are the many different ways. One trick that I found that if you want to customize the grain that you're on, you can select your grain and then go back to custom and that's going to customize that very same preset that you were on. So if you like 65 millimeter grain and you just want to add a little bit more, you can go to that 65 millimeter grain and then go to custom and then you can switch it out and tweak a little bit of everything from those settings. For my highlation, I normally just match all my settings. So let's keep the same relation, but again, like if you go to custom, just after you select your preset, you can tweak it from there. Next up, we have film damage. And as you can see, this is where the options just expand. So there's so many variations with the dust, the hairs, and the scratches. This is where you can really fine tune your photo and make it look like that film or make it look like you're annoyed and that you got your photo back from the lab and they just messed it all up. One thing that I did notice in here that the scale units for these adjustments um, from zero to 100, they're not actually going from zero to 100. They're actually just different parameters. So you might be able to dial it in to like a 28 and get the same thing that you got each time. I haven't really played with it too much, but as I was going through and I was trying to like scale it down or take them away it just seemed like they were randomizing at different numbers so i'm not sure if it was just my plugin per se it didn't seem like it was like disappearing or like multiplying anymore it just seemed like more instances my next favorite thing about this plugin is the overscan 
the overscan is where you can tweak different film overlays and these are mainly films from movie formats. And I think here I turned one of the 35 millimeters on its side. I scaled it out to actually match the frame because on this Fuji 50R, the frames are actually four by five so you can tweak it and it's, it's gonna line up the same exact way. I think it's looking really great and I'm just gonna tweak the gate defocus a little bit and again like the parameters for the vignette it's really really well and you can just tweak it exactly to your liking and I think I'm going to end with something around here all right it's looking good and it's super easy to save your presets on here as you come across them and there it is and we're going to bring it back to Lightroom and it's going to update directly in Lightroom. And here is the comparison side by side. Again, this is the very first time trying this plugin. I'll look to dive into it a lot more um, later and continue using it with my photography. I've been shooting more with the Fujifilm 50R and I think this will mash up really well with the 65 millimeter uh, Minicon lens that I've been using. Just adding the grain on there and the dust is just gonna give me that look that I'm looking for. I would love to see if they had photo specific formats for Dehancer. If they had a medium format border, that would be awesome. If they had a 35 millimeter film photo, that would be awesome. Once again, I really enjoyed jumping in here and playing with this emulation. I think it has so much potential to honestly make your photos look like film. I hope you enjoy this review. The good folks out at Dehancer allow me to give you a code if you can have 10% off of the plugin. And I believe you can use it for anything on their site. But just give it a try, tell me what you think, and if you're like me and you're getting to medium format photography, this is a great addition to have point blank. So if you made it to the end of the video, props to you. Thanks for following along. Definitely use the discount code. Stay tuned for more. I have some more videos in store. I just got back from Japan and once the holidays chill out, I'll be able to go through all the footage. <laughs> I'll be able to go through all the footage and photos and be able to share my experience that I had in Japan. I had a most wonderful time and I was shot a lot of my content with the Fujifilm 50Rs. Stay tuned for more, more videos on the way and more explorations. All right, y'all take care, YouTube, peace.